Thank you, Madam Chairwoman. I really want to thank you for your comments, your passion, your part, your part partnership with myself and uh, everyone else involved. I also want to recognize our dear friend, um, your predecessor, Elijah Cummings, who uh, was so passionate and uh, determined to provide leadership on this issue. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, I just really want to thank you for your comments. Um, back in December, we held a hearing on the Sacro family's role in the opioid crisis and had family members come and testify in front of this committee. The family's greed and the devastation they have caused cannot be overstated. Since the release of Oxycontin in 1996, the Sackler family has withdrawn more than $10 billion from Purdue Pharma, a privately held company that they own. While the Sackler family was earning billions, 500,000 Americans lost their lives to opioids. 500,000 American families still suffer with no pain relief for their loss. All from opio opioid overdoses from 1999 to 2019. According to the CDC, opioid abuse in America costs us almost $80 billion a year. But the Sacklers in their settlement agreement, tentative sell up settlement agreement with the Department of Justice, are willing to spend only 2% of their net worth $212 million, $212 million once for what the CDC is now costing American taxpayers in the American economy, almost $80 billion a year. The United States has 4% of the world's population, but over the last 20 years has grown to consume 80% of opioids. Our focus has to be on justice and accountability. The Sackler family is trying to use legal loopholes to avoid accountability for their actions. I'm so proud to be leading on the Sackler Act with Chairwoman Maloney, which would prevent the Sackler family from receiving immunity against government lawsuits through Purdue Farmers bankruptcy. I'm really proud of our witnesses today, the attorney generals, the advocates, and Mr. Keefe representing dozens of journalists a real statement of why we need independent, accountable journalism in this country, across this country. The many books and articles have been written to shed light on this crisis. Holding the Sackler family accountable to the fullest extent of the law would provide some measure of justice, but it will never bring back the hundreds of thousands of lives cut short by this epidemic. Today's hearing is a bright spot in a dark saga of the opioid epidemic. I want to thank again our witnesses for being on the front lines of exposing the greed behind the opioid epidemic and for fighting to enact change to make sure this never happens again. Thank you all so much. I yield back.